Scott Ross, this is Art Emmen reporting for Prima Magazine, live from ISC, but unfortunately not live from Frankfurt. Yesterday, besides the top 500 session, the announcement of the new number one, the new fastest supercomputer in the world, the Fujaku system at uh, Riken in Japan. Later that day, there was a session about how high performance computing, how supercomputing can help research into COVID-19. One of the presenters at that session was director of Riken, um, Satoshi Machiroko, and um, he presented the research that has already been done on the new supercomputer to support COVID-19. His presentation is available from the ISC website and you can find it still there. Um, and if you register, you can see the full 30 minutes of his uh, presentation. I just kept some, some highlights. Um, the uh, Fujaku system was originally planned to be available somewhere next year for researchers, widely available, but they uh, put the date of delivery forward and provided early access to researchers um, in, in Japan, but also international researchers, so that uh, people could already start exploring research into COVID-19 using this very, very fast uh, machine. Um, in Japan, as Satoshi explained, there are several other systems also used, supercomputers that are also used for this uh, type of uh, research. So the Fujaku um, is uh, the fastest supercomputer in the world. And how can you compare that? Well, you just take 20 million phones, smartphones, and you put them into one system, and then you have the Fujaku, more or less, of course. Um, the 20 million phones would take up 200 megawatt of power, which is uh, really a lot. Uh, but the Fujaku still needs 30 megawatts of power to fully operate, which is also a lot, a, a small city, let's say. The um, smartphone is uh, using um, ARM processors, and uh, the Fujaku is also using ARM processors, but there are special extensions. Go to for uh, Satoshi's um, presentation to see more details. So the status is that um, the uh, there are early access users that now run COVID-19 uh, applications already. The machine is also available for international users. So if you are uh, uh, having research which could be um, needing so, so much uh, computing power, then please go to uh, uh, the Riken and ask for uh, access. What type of research is done? Well, there's broadly, as Satoshi explained, medical pharma applications a lot, and there is also uh, societal and epidemiology uh, applications. So there's also research done in exploring drug candidates, uh, etc. Et, et, et so the, the typical um, um, application, one of the typical applications is looking into the structure of the, uh, of the molecules and how they fit together. And here they really can do things about 100 times faster than on other machines. So instead of waiting for a week, they're just waiting a few hours and they can do run after run, which really, really helps. One very other interesting thing by, um, the Riken uh, researcher uh, Tsu Bakuro, he did investigate the airflow in trains, which is something which is very important um, because we have to travel with trains or airplanes or whatever. In a typical train, in a typical situation in, uh, in Japan, but also elsewhere, there are a lot of people um, in, a, in a very small space. So how can you, how can you get the airflow optimal so that, um, that that works best and best means not getting people infected. So what uh, Tsubakuru uh, showed is that if you open the windows, then the airflow gets uh, such that the level of uh, aerosols and particles that um, uh, are used by the, uh, the COVID virus to, uh, to spread are um, dropping to a level of one fifth, or if, if you don't do that. So that's really one important piece of uh, research. But there are many more examples of useful research that can be done with supercomputers like uh, Fuchaku. 
So please stay tuned to our channel if you want to uh, be uh, kept uh, up to date with what's happening at the ISC. And you can also go to the ISC website, as I explained, to see all the presentations. For Premium Magazine, this was Up Energy.